you're just getting started, this high-level overview should help you understand the basic constructs and functionality in Sassafras Key Server. Additional videos in this series will provide detailed instructions for the features mentioned here. The very first thing you should consider when setting up your key server is how to identify standard computer records. The default is to identify based on MAC address, which means that a single record will follow a physical computer even as the name and location changes throughout the life cycle of the machine. A common alternative to MAC address is to ID based on computer name so that usage records transfer to new machines as long as they're assigned the same name as the hardware they replaced. This works well for hardware refreshes in many lab environments, for example. This change is made in key configure under computer ID types in the config menu, but be sure to watch the video on this topic before making the change. In the standard view in key configure, you'll see four windows, computers, products, policies, and purchases. Let's look at computers first. This is the first window that will start to automatically populate with data after you've installed key server, key configure, and the key access client on the first few endpoints. On the right, you'll see any computers that have logged into key server. New computer records will appear in this window as users log into them after key access is installed. If you double click a record, you'll see the computer details window which shows all the properties gathered automatically at login. As soon as you have more than a few computers listed, you'll want to organize them into divisions. Divisions are shown on the left, and at first you'll only see a single division named uncategorized. Divisions are used for organizing computers into meaningful groups, usually by location. In a university setting, for example, divisions often represent labs or classrooms. In a corporate setting, they might be used for departments or buildings. Divisions can be nested, and a higher level grouping called sections can be used to organize divisions into departments, campuses, or other high level or administrative categories. Computers can be put into divisions in one of three ways. The most automated way is to integrate with Active Directory and have divisions mirror the OU structure in AD. If AD won't work for you, you can use internal rules instead. For example, a rule can be created to place a computer into a division if the name starts with certain letters or numbers. Finally, you can populate divisions manually by dragging the computers into them one at a time or in bulk. Computers dragged into place are anchored there so anchoring can be used to override rules or AD integration for specific machines. The discovered status in the products window represents whether a product has been found on one or more client computers. In addition to the product status, the status column also indicates whether a product is referenced in a policy or purchase record. The related category is for products that do not appear to be on any of your computers and ignored products are not listed in any policies and will not show up in any audit or usage reports. Web browsers are ignored by default. Software policies in Key Server are a powerful way to manage and track usage for the software on your network. Fine-grained controls allow you to measure or manage usage against a defined license limit and with advanced features like time sets and computer or user groups, it's even possible to give priority access to specific classrooms or labs during certain hours and days each week. When combined with detailed purchase records and our unique reconcile features, KeyServer can even help you stay in compliance by tying usage limits directly to your purchases for each software entitlement, keeping track of expiration dates, upgrade and downgrade rights, and other license metrics automatically. During initial setup, however, it's often best to hit the ground running with policies intended to simply track usage of important software products. These can be set up very quickly and you can return after a few weeks when some usage data has been collected to decide whether purchase records or enforcing limits is necessary. In Key Server 7.6, the process of creating a new policy just to track usage is virtually automatic. The new Family Policy Wizard allows you to quickly decide which discovered product families you want to track usage for 
and automatically creates policies to track usage of all product editions. KeyServer will immediately begin tracking usage of the selected product families. Once you've made policies and allowed some time to pass to gather usage, you can run usage reports like usage div cross policy or histogram policy. The goal of this video has just been to help familiarize you with the key configure interface and to help you create a few initial software policies for usage tracking. We didn't dive too deeply into other configuration options, usage reporting, or look at the key reporter web interface at all, but hopefully you feel more comfortable making your way around in key configure. When you're ready for a deeper dive, review our documentation or have a look at some of the other videos in this series. Thanks for watching.